Hey, Business 203 Online students, I want to bring something to your attention that will help you with Chapter 5, just in case you're unaware of it. If you go to Blackboard and you go to PowerPoints, Videos, and Docs, click on that, you'll get this page. Scroll down to the Chapter 5 area right here. It says Binomial and Poisson Tables. If you click on that, there's a PDF. That PDF includes uh, copies of binomial tables. And uh, I think I explain how this works in the narrated PowerPoints, but just in case I don't, let's say that we have a problem where the uh, binomial applies, it's a Bernoulli trial, and the constant probability is 20% you will look for that probability here in the top row as you see 20 percent isn't there so scroll down you're still at nine there now you have a probability of 20 percent in this column if you look for your value of little n which is the sample size so let's say we have a problem where little n is six and we have a constant probability of 20 percent there are the probabilities for each value that x can take when little n equals six so the probability of zero in six trials when the constant probability is 20 percent is 0.2621 if i wanted to know the probability of exactly one I would have that there at 0.3932. If I wanted to know the probability of 0 and 1, I just add those together, which if I do here on my calculator, which you can't see on my desk, and it's 2 point, excuse me, 0 0.2621 plus 0.3932 is 0 0.6553. So the probability of no more than 1 is 0.6553. If I wanted to know then the probability of 2 or more, I can either add all the numbers at 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, or I could use the complement rule and say, okay, 1 minus the probability of 0 and 1 of 0.6553 is 0.3447. So the binomial tables are helpful to you because you do not have to use the rather complicated formula, but you can use the tables as long as you define what your value for little n is, which is the sample size. Uh, the value of x is going to change with each question and uh, the constant probability. Similarly, if you scroll down through the binomial tables, and yes, you can print these out and have them available to, uh, with you during the test. I recommend it, as a matter of fact. Uh, table 6 are values for e to the negative mean for use in Poisson uh, probability calculations. Or, if you don't want to calculate using the formula, scroll down a little bit more. Come on, scroll. Of course, it's stuck right now. Come on, baby. There we go. Oh, I thought. Hold on. Okay, there. There are our Poisson tables, similar to the binomial, except in Poisson, you know you have a constant mean or a constant average. Uh, say, for example, uh, you have three every uh, hour. So, look to the top of the Poisson table. The mean is there at the top margin. I want to see 3, so I go to this column. Uh, that's my constant 3 per hour. If I want to know the probability of 0 occurrences, there it is, 0.49, excuse me, 0 0.0498. If I wanted to know the probability of exactly one occurrence, it's 0.1494. And if I wanted to know the probability of two or more, 
where my average is 3 per hour. I could add up the remainder of this column, or I could subtract from 1, 1 minus 0 0.0498 minus 0 0.1494 is 0 0.8008, which is the sum of all these numbers here. Uh, remember with Poisson problems the average will change so if it says three per hour and then the question asks you well how many or what's the probability in a half hour period then you just go from this column of three per hour to this column of 1.5 per 30 minutes. Now if the next question asked you for a probability in a quarter hour you don't have 0 0.075 which is your new average or your new mean so there you would have to use the formula to get a precise answer under Poisson but if you have an average or a mean that uh, is provided in this table that is uh, any uh, average here listed 0.1 through 0.9 and then 1 through 3 also goes up in tenths increments all the way to 4, 5, through 5, 6, 7, I think at 10 it starts jumping. There's 10. There it starts jumping by whole unit 1's so uh, then 11, 12, 13, 14. But if you have any averages in the Poisson question that would allow you to find a mu that's in the top uh, uh, margin listing there, you can use this table to find a probability and that will be much easier than trying to use the formula. Okay, I hope that helps and good luck.